So I went out and got a new game the other day. Uh, I went out and purchased Battlefield Hardline for the Xbox One. Um, I had Battlefield 4 and I really enjoyed that game for a multitude of reasons, so I wanted to give Battlefield Hardline a chance, knowing that it was going to be a little different, I just wasn't sure how it was going to be different. So, let me go ahead and kind of explain myself here and go over a little bit about this game and what I've noticed. So first of all, one of the things I really like about this game is that it has a two-way unlock system. So what I mean by that is it's similar to how Call of Duty Black Ops 1 was, where first of all you have to range, uh, reach like a certain level or achieve a certain goal of getting a certain amount of kills, say, and then you would be able to unlock the ability to purchase an attachment or a new weapon. So that's kind of the same thing in Battlefield Hardline. Basically, you can get a certain amount of kills and then you have to be able to purchase the weapon attachments or weapon that you uh, unlocked via getting a certain amount of kills. So that's something they do in this game. It's a two-way unlock system. It's fun, more, it makes the game more fun because that way you're you're gaining some sort of currency and uh, they use the dollar system in here. As you can see, I just got some right there for killing somebody. So basically that's, uh, that's the unlock system in this game. Now, the thing that sucks about it is for some reason, I'm just finding that the starting classes that you get and the weapons that you get in each of the uh, opening classes are not very good. Uh, this is the assault rifle that I'm using right now, and I have a hard time killing people with it. I, every time I get into a gunfight with it, whether I shoot first or, or if I'm just trying to pick somebody off from far away, I always run out of ammo before I get anywhere near killing somebody. So I'm not sure if that this gun is just purposely weak or if everybody else has already unlocked such a better weapon. So it seems to have a little bit of an imbalance there. Because the thing that sucks the most is you have to get kills to be able to unlock the next weapon. So, if I'm having a hard time killing somebody with the first weapon, and I want to unlock the next weapon that may kill people quicker, it's going to take forever. Because everybody else that you're fighting pretty much already has the better weapon. Or the better attachments for your starting weapon to make it better. So, you're, you're already kind of starting off, you know, behind everyone. And it, it's hard to catch up. Now, this is the SMG and uh, it's a pea shooter essentially. Now, the other thing that I thought was stupid is they give you attachments for the guns that just don't seem to really make sense right off the bat. Both weapons have some sort of ACOG or scope on it or some sort of holographic sight. There's none of them have iron sights right off the bat and that can be a little frustrating. Uh, you can unlock different stuff down the road after about 10 to 20 kills, but it takes a while to get those kills, especially in Battlefield where you're playing on much larger maps so you're not running into confrontation every couple of seconds opposed to Call of Duty where you are doing that. Now the other thing that I didn't really like about this game was that you don't have very many weapons to choose from. When you go into the unlock categories to customize your class to look at what other weapons you can eventually purchase, I kid you not there's only about six. and I'll get used to it, honestly. It's just right now, I am thinking more back to Battlefield 4 where you had like 15 to 20 different weapons you could choose between each, uh, each basically, engineering class, the uh, medic class, the sniper class, and, uh, you know, the different classes like that, the assault class. You had so many different weapon options, whereas this game, it's way more limited. So, that's one thing that I'll have to get used to, but then again... When you think about Battlefield 4, you were doing military versus military type of gameplays. Uh, in Battlefield Hardline, it's more of cops versus robbers. So, you know, the military has tanks, the cops don't have tanks. The uh, enemy military has weapons that are ridiculous like airplanes, fighter jets, um, MRAPs, all that stuff. Whereas the cops and robbers, they're just going to have jeeps, you know, SUVs with machine guns mounted on them, and a typical police helicopter. So there's a difference in vehicles that you get to choose from opposed to Battlefield 4, but it makes sense because, like I said, you're doing police versus criminals. It's no longer military versus military. Um, the game types are really fun. They still have conquests, but then they have some new ones that fit a cops and robbers style, like... Um, there's this one where you have to get money. It's called Blood Money, I believe, is the game type. And that's a lot of fun. And the other thing that they brought back with the maps is interactive maps where stuff happens while you're playing. Like, right now, there's a huge dust storm approaching that you can see. That thing's just gonna wreak havoc on the map, and it's really cool when it happens. So, that's something I always loved about the hard, uh, Battlefield games, and Hardline does the same thing as Battlefield 4 did. They always have something changing. As you can see here, the actual wind is starting to pick up a little bit, so it's gonna get, uh, gonna get a little crazy with the storm coming in here. But, outside of that, I think I'm just having early thoughts on the game. I'm definitely gonna have to revisit 
uh, in a, an opinion on the game down the road once I start unlocking some more stuff and playing a little bit more because right now I only have about three hours but if anybody does have this game and they want to play please let me know because I love getting into a squad with people and communicating it's so much fun um, oh, and here you go here comes the dust storm so let me know if you do have this game hit me up on Xbox one my gamer tag is uh, Nintendo kid 91 as is my YouTube channel I'm looking for people to play with it just makes it a better experience and I made try to live stream this game down the road but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video here because I don't really have much to talk about overall right now my pre rating on the game would be a 7 out of 10 and just for the reasons that I discussed in the video um, goofy unlock uh, goofy weapons to start out with and then uh, longer unlock system so it gets a little hard to get those weapons as well as weapon uh, the very variants that you can get for the weapons you know you don't have very many options so that's kind of why I gave it a 7 out of time but I'm sure that'll change down the road. Here goes a nice pistol kill, and then I die right afterwards. So, see you guys later.